Okay, now let's do the if function and let's look at the first table, which is the game table. Now, if you look for the question in C3, we need to display either the text yes or the text no in this cell. Based on what? Based on the height. The question says if the height is less than 5.2, what should be displayed here? No should be displayed. If the height is greater than or equal 5.2, what should be displayed here? Yes should be displayed. Okay? A function that will compare this, we call it an if. So I'll say if. And then the if function is divided into three parts. The logical test, the value if true, and the value if false. Now, logical test, let's take our first logical test here, which is if the height is less than 5.2. Where is the height? This is the height less than 5.2. Comma. What will happen if it's less than 5.2? What should be done? If the value is true, the text no should be displayed. So just type it between quotations since it's a text. Any text you type, you must put it between quotations. Comma, what if it's false? If it's not less than 5.2, that means 100% it is either 5.2 or greater. So the second condition will be happening anyways. So I'll just put, if it's false, it's 100%. Yes. Okay. So whenever we add these kind of functions, if functions, you will find that it can take advantage of two conditions. It can put either the true condition or the false condition. So the number it, if needed is equal to the number of condition minus one. As you can see here, I have two condition, either no or yes. How many if I use? Only one. The number of if used equal the number of condition minus one. We have two condition. We used only one if. What about the second table? The second table, how many condition we have? If the number of sold is less than 20, what should be displayed? Under target. If the number of sold is between 20 and 30, what should be displayed? On target. If the number of sold is greater than 30, what should be displayed? Popular. How many condition do we have? Three condition. Under target, on target, and popular. So the number of if we are going to, you, to be using is equal the number of condition minus one. So if we have three condition, we expect to use two ifs. Okay, let's start with the fairest one. If the fairest logical test, if the number sold is less than 20, where is the number sold? In I2, less than 20. Comma, what if it's true? Under target should be displayed. Is it a text? Yes, we should put it between quotation. Under target. Comma, what if it's false? Remember, we still have two other conditions. We need to include another if. So let's start our new if now. The logical test will be, this time it's between 20 and 30. Now, I know that it's 20 or greater. I know that the number will be, whenever I reach this point, 20 or greater. Because if the number is less than 20, already under target should be displayed. So whenever the function reaches this point, that means the number is either 20 or greater. So I need to look at the upper bound. I need to stop it at 30. So I would say if the number sold is less than or equal 30, what should happen? On target should be displayed. So I would say on target. Remember it's a text quotation. Comma, if it's true, if it's not less than or equal 30, it's 100% greater than 30. That means the last condition is happening without any problem. So I would say popular. So as you can see, I have three conditions and I use two number of if. The number of if used in the equation will be equal to the number of condition you have minus one. And since I started two if, I started the first one with a black bracket. As you can see, the second if is a red bracket. So I will end with a black bracket, just like I started, or I need two bracket at closing. Okay, and then what we do, we replicate. Last table, how many conditions? Let's look at the condition and define the number of if we need. If the hours work here is less than 25, part-time. This is the first condition. If the hours work between 25 and 40, partial. This is the second condition. If the hours work is greater than or equal 40, full-time. This is the third condition. So how many conditions we have? One, two, three. How many if we need? Two. Number of if equal the number of condition minus one. So let's start with the fairest if. What's the logical test? Number sold less than, hours work less than 25. Where is the hours work? Here, in two. Less than 
25. What if it's true? This employee is a part timer. So good part. Find the thing quotation since this is a text. Comma. What if it's false? I need another if. Remember, we're going to use two if for these three conditions. What the second logical test? If it's greater than or equal to 25 and less than 40. And remember, just like we have done here, we always look at the upper bound because the lower bound is already happening since I reached this point. So I will need to look at the 40. So I would say if this one is less than 40. Okay? Comma. What if it's true? This employee is a, par a partial employee and between quotations. Comma, what if it's not less than 40, it's 100% greater than or equal to 40. That means it will be a full timer. A full time employee. How many if I have? Two. How many bracket I need? Two. Start it with the black bracket, you end up with the black bracket. Done. And then you replicate. Let's do another one here. Look at the question. If the number sold is greater than the sales target, what will happen? We need to give this employee a bonus, which is 500% plus the salary. Otherwise, the employee just get the same salary, okay? So if we have an employee that is actually selling more than it should, yes, the sale target here is 20 and he's selling 22, he should get a bonus. So if the number sold is greater than the sales, the employee should get the salary plus a bonus. How many conditions do I have? Two conditions. Either he's selling more or selling less. Two conditions means I need one if. Let's do it. So I'll say equal if. What's my logical test? The number sold more than the sales. Where is the number sold? C3 greater than D3. What will happen? He will get the salary, if it's true, plus the bonus, which is 500 pound okay comma what if it falls that means he's not selling greater than the sales target so what will happen the salary should remain the same that's why i will just click on the salary so he should get whatever number is displayed in this cell so we get and then we replicate okay what about this again if statement is the total spend greater than a thousand? Let's say you are going into a supermarket and if you buy, uh, let's say goods greater than 1,000, you get a 150 discount. If you are buying goods less than 1,000, you don't get a discount. So how many conditions do we have? Two conditions. How many if we need? One if. So I would say it's an if. What's your logical test? Whatever you are actually spending is more than 1,000, so I, just, I can just type it as 1,000. This is my logical test. What if it's true? I will get a discount, 150. So whatever in the bill, minus 150. Comma, if it's false, that means I'm buying things with less than 1,000, so I'll pay it full. So I'll just click on the total spend cell, which is I, three, and I'm going to replicate. Very good. So I think it's uh, now uh, straightforward how to use the if function.